Hey there artists! So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to what I like to call paint with clay. Um, I thought about this when I was sitting with my girls at the dinner table and we were playing with the play-doh and I just started taking multiple pieces of different colors on top of each other and then rolling them out and started to create different designs and then I thought well what happens if I did it with a little bit more purpose? And this is kind of what I came up with. And now I basically spend hours on end trying to create different paintings with the Play-Doh and I find it so fun. So in this video, I'm doing a portrait um, with the Play-Doh, but I would love to see what you come up with. The other day I did a bouquet of flowers, um, using coils and little balls of clay. I think the part that I love the most is that when I put the pieces together, which you'll see in the video, and then when I take my rolling pin and I roll it out, whatever I think it's going to come out like, it really doesn't come out like. So it's a surprise. I find it to be so much fun. Enjoy, and I can't wait to see what you submit in the Google Classroom. Have a good day. To begin this process, I found it best to take one piece of clay, um, get it nice and soft, and roll it out, you know, pretty flat. I'm not trying to make it super thin. If it's too thin, it ends up ripping. So I'm just being gentle and trying to create a pretty even surface. Now you can see that I am taking a different color, rolling out balls or making small coils, putting it on top of the clay, and every now and again I'll take that rolling pin and I'll put just enough pressure to make it even with that base purple color. So this kind of, it pushes the clay into, or, or the Play-Doh, I'm sorry, it pushes the Play-Doh um, into that base so it almost looks like a painting rather than a sculpture. So here I'm making a portrait. I started with the face. I added an arms, a t-shirt, you know, play with mixing of colors together. If you only have, you know, blue, yellow, and red, remember you can make every color of the rainbow just by taking two of those, red and yellow, mix it together, make orange. You can have so many wonderful colors just by um, starting with a few. So once you're finished, you know, you can take a cookie cutter, um, cut out a shape, or maybe even take something to stamp into it, like a fork to create some texture in your background or maybe in your shirt or if you're doing something different. What can you use to add some detail and variation? Mm -hmm. 